Now I'm going to try and compare the stability of group 2 uh, nitrates. So I have two group 2 nitrates uh, that I've drawn. One is magnesium nitrate where a magnesium ion is bonded to two nitrate ions, NO3 one minus on either side and there's Mg2 plus in the middle. And the other one is uh, lower down in group 2, it's barium nitrate. So there's a, there's a barium ion in the middle and the two nitrate ions on either side. One thing that you're going to notice first is that magnesium ion is much smaller in size. It's a smaller ion. It has a smaller ionic ra radius, whereas barium ions are much bigger in size. And what that leads to is that this two plus charge is going to be more effective. The charge density is going to be higher because of the smaller ionic radius. And uh, Whereas barium 2 plus the charge density is going to be lower because it has a much bigger ionic radius. So this 2 plus charge is spread out over a small uh, over a much bigger region making it less effective. Now since this Mg2 plus uh, has a higher charge density, it's going to have uh, a stronger attraction for the electron density in this nitrate ion. So the electrons over here are going to be pulled towards Mg2 plus more strongly. There's going to be more polarization. So they would be this is going to have more polarization for the nitrate ion on the other hand if you look at barium nitrate uh, it has a much bigger ion the charge density is lesser so the attraction for the electrons uh, in nitrate it's not going to be very strong so the electrons would not be very strongly attracted and barium ion is going to have less polarization compared to mg2 plus so so there is less polarization in the case of barium nitrate or as you move down group 2. Uh, so what would happen eventually is that Mg2 plus magnesium nitrate is going to be much more unstable. The reason being that this nitrate ion is going to decompose the electrons over here are going to be strongly attracted to this Mg2 plus and this oxygen is going to end up joining with this magnesium and this NO2 is going to break away so it would be much a lot easier to actually decompose uh, magnesium nitrate compared to barium nitrate so let's uh, write this down this is going to be less stable it's uh, magnesium nitrate is going to decompose more easily so group 2 nitrates uh, metal nitrates uh, on top of group 2 they're going to decompose easily at a lower temperature whereas barium nitrate uh, the one lower down in group 2 it's going to be more stable to heating uh, it's going to take a much more a much higher temperature uh, a decomposition temperature so it's going to be much more difficult to decompose this now I'm going to tell you the last thing I'm going to tell you is what to write in the exam paper if a question about the stability of nitrates of group 2 nitrates specifically comes in your paper uh, so the statement that you're going to write is that as you move down group 2 ionic radius increases so the cat and specifically of the cation, the nitrate remains pretty much the same. Uh, it's the cation or the positive metal ion that whose radius is increasing. Uh, and since the radius increases, this reduces the charge density, hence nitrate ion is less polarized down the group. And uh, therefore thermal stability increases. So this is the statement uh, that you're going to write, use the same terminology in the exam paper. And uh, so as you move down group 2, as we have discussed earlier, a bigger cation is going to have less attraction for the nitrate ion. If it has less attraction, the electrons in the nitrate are not going to be disturbed uh, and the NO2 molecule or the nitrate ion would probably not get decomposed very, very easily because barium ions are not attracting the, this oxygen very, very strongly. Now we're going to discuss the thermal decomposition of group 1 nitrates which is slightly different uh, than the decomposition of other nitrates. Now uh, I, I've uh, drawn uh, a group 1 nitrate, a sodium nitrate, where you have a sodium ion and you have a nitrate ion NO3 one minus. And uh, remember group 1 uh, ions, uh, the more reactive the ele element, the metal, the less would be the charge density on the ion. So group 1 only have a charge of plus 1. So the charge density is lower so they're going to have uh, lesser charge density for example if you compare this with group 2 group 2 had a charge of 2 plus group 3 has a charge of 3 plus so their charge density is uh, is higher 
but uh, group 1 ions they are also the largest ions in the period so so their charge density is lower they, they only have a charge of plus 1 which is why the attraction between sodium ions and this nitrate ion is not going to be very strong so there is very weak attraction between sodium ions and nitrate ions and the polariz polarizing effect of this sodium ion is very weak so nothing much happens to the nitrate ion and it's uh, so so group 1 nitrates are going to be very very stable it would require very high temperatures for it to decompose so when you give it very high temp temperatures and molecules gain uh, kinetic energy what eventually happens is not because main of the polarizing effect of sodium ions because that's very weak uh, it has very weak attraction but at very high temperatures what happens is that this nitrate ion uh, decomposes on its own because one of the oxen is forming a dative bond over here with this nitrogen over here and this dative bond eventually uh, breaks away uh, this data bond breaks uh, into two parts and you get half a molecule of uh, oxygen this oxygen breaks away and ends up forming half O2 molecule whereas uh, the rest of the ionic compound sodium nitrate decomposes into sodium nitride NO2 1 minus and Na is 1 plus so this remaining part is NO2 one minus it's a nitrite ion so this is what happens when you try to decompose group one nitrates uh, and it's going to be uh, very hard to actually decompose them so let me write down an equation for this now so I've written down the equation sodium nitrate decomposing to form a metal nitrite and giving off an oxygen molecule and the decomposition of group one nitrate is going to be very very hard uh, so the rule is uh, you can come up with a general rule more reactive metals are going to have more stable metal nitrates it's going to be more difficult to decompose those metal nitrates simply for the reason that the ions have lesser polarizing effect on the nitrate ion which makes the nitrate ion more stable and uh, less prone to decomposition.